Hello everyone, I am Mohan and welcome back to my channel. So in this video series, we have been looking at how we can explain the prediction of a machine learning algorithm. And this and in this particular video, we'll see a method which can which can help us explain any kind of machine learning algorithm. Maybe it's neural network, random forest, XG boost, it doesn't matter. As long as we have the input and the prediction from the machine learning model, we can use this method to know which features are important for that data set. All right. So let's go ahead and see how it works. First of all, let's see, because I'm going to explain random forest in this video. Let's see what is a random forest. A well, random forest is just a group of trees, decision trees, where they are given a subset of data and they give certain output. So as in the last video, we saw that every decision tree gives us a feature importance based on how helpful that feature is to come to the decision. To get the feature importance for the random forest, we just uh, get uh, the feature importance for individual decision tree and then take the mean of that feature importance for the random forest. We'll compare the feature importance of the random forest instead. So let's see the method that we are going to talk about in this video. It's called permutation feature importance and it can be used to explain any black box model. Let's say we we designed, let's say a black box model, machine learning or deep learning, any kind of model. And uh, de definitely we'll have some input features X and we have some prediction from the black box model, let's say Y bar. And we have the target prediction, the true label. We have the true label for that. So first with our, all the features intact, we'll get the Y bar and uh, the target label Y and from there we can find what is the accuracy with our all the features intact. In the next step what we are going to do suppose we have three features XA, XB and XC. Let's say we want to see what is the contribution of the XB feature towards our prediction. So what we will do we will randomly permute the samples in XB by keeping XA and XC constant. That means what? That means the XV variable loses its importance. So it does not mean anything semantically now. You can say uh, a made up extra vector here. So doing this uh, random permutation to a particular column, what it will do, do is, let's say is XB has a certain importance in our output prediction. Then by changing this variables, we'll change our value, we we'll change a big change in our accuracy as well. So the more the change in accuracy, hopefully the accuracy should reduce. The more the change in uh, the lower in accuracy by changing the uh, variable XB, that means XB is that much important for our model. So same, the same way we can do for the all the features that we have in our data set. We can first permute the elements in XA and see its effect on the accuracy. That will be the importance score for the XA feature. Then we'll do for XB, then we'll do for XC independently. When we are doing for one feature, we'll keep all the other features constant. Now let's see what we can. And finally, we'll get some kind of this. We'll get uh, the feature score for individual feature here. All right. Now let's see how we can do this. In Jupyter Notebook. Well, to do the Jupyter Notebook, because I'm going to explain the random forest algorithm, I'm importing the random forest classifier, I'm initializing the instance, and I'm fitting on my training data. And this training data and test data are for the same that I have been using from for this video series. You can refer back to the last video if you haven't seen it. And if I see the accuracy score on the training set, it's one, it's hundred percent. But if I see the accuracy score on the test data, it's 81 percent that means my random forest is is uh, overfitted but anyway 81 percent is good enough accuracy so let's see other matrices so now what i'm going to do i'm going to just take the feature importance of this random forest classifier where you can just obtain dot feature importance and i'm creating a data frame out of that and you can see here all right you can you can see here uh, the feature importance of different variables for this random forest algorithm. One important thing to note here is what is this control feature? So let me talk about this control feature a little more. It's very interesting.
So what did I do? I added a column of random numbers between 0 to 1. And as I am adding this feature, I know that all the elements in this column are rubbish. There is random number which I have generated and added that to my data frame X. So what does that mean that so let's go back to the feature plot. So what does that mean now is uh, this control feature was just a bunch of random numbers as a column. So whatever features are right to this uh, columns importance that means this feature do not mean anything. They have a lesser importance than the random variable themselves. So how can they be important for our prediction? This can be also used as a very good way of feature selection as well when you are when you have a lot of feature. So yeah, definitely you can go ahead and do this. That was that was about the just a random forest classifiers feature importance which just sums up the feature importance for individual decision trees in there. But now let's see our method the permutation feature importance how we can do that. Luckily there is a function directly available in sklearn. You can go to sklearn.inspection and from there you can import this permutation feature importance. And in order to initialize that you need to give you give it your trained random forest model or it can be any model it can be you know like Keras model also you can use with per, uh, permutation importance. Then the test data you can also use trained data but it's better to go with test data because then you can see which features are important when we are doing it on the test data like a real life the which the model has not seen before all right and n repeats equal to five means we, we are doing we are repeating this uh, random permutation five times for individual feature so in that way we can somehow compensate the randomness in our data all right and after that you can just get uh, this result dot mean importance mean that means uh, from this five repetition it will combine the mean of each feature and just uh, put it in there and i'm just creating a series and this is how the data looks like for the individual feature so here we see the control feature is pretty late, pretty last compared to the random forest algorithm but at the first at the first feature which are very important we see here xmb 10 x sme 21 4 xme 9 5 they're pretty much same here xmb 10 xmb 21 4 9 you can see it's more or less same but the advantage of this uh, permutation feature importance is, is can be applied to any algorithm it can be knn algorithm it can be your decision tree it can be a uh, convolution neural network so yeah that is one advantage but still that one problem lies is uh, well we are able to explain the model in an entirety in a global way but for individual prediction we don't know Maybe for individual prediction, if it says it belongs to fault number five, these features are not important. This gives on only a global idea, but not a local idea. But when you are doing fault classification, we are more interested in that particular output of the machine learning model. So, so let's say for time t, it gave us an output that this belongs to fault class five. Then you'd like to know why for this particular, why this at this particular time my machine learning algorithm is giving me fault number 5 and not fault number 6 or not fault number 0. So that's what we are going to explore more in the next com upcoming videos which is called local explainability. Till now we have discovered the global explainability, explainability of the machine learning model where we covered decision tree, logistic regression and now permutation feature importance. I hope you find value in this video and I'll see you in the next video.